Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Mr. Boy's English class. Today, we are going to learn about how to read any words in English. So, at the end of this video, I can use my dictionary to search for words and also I can identify and read the selected IPA symbols. So let's get started. In the previous videos, we actually talk about the different kinds of English language dictionaries and also the different types. We have the bilingual dictionary and also the monolingual dictionary. After that, we also talk about how to search for a word. We also talk about the different parts of a dictionary entry. We have the words, pronunciation, parts of the speech, plural form, meanings, example, informal, and synonyms. If you have not watched the video, you can click on the link here for the video. Let's continue with the lesson. We are going into how to read a word, which is the pronunciation of a word. So, if you can see here, we will have this transcription on the right side of the word. And, from the online dictionary, we can also see the transcription here. These are called IPA transcriptions, and it is actually made of different kinds of symbols. And each symbol is representing a different sound. IPA stands for International Phonetics Alphabets, and the transcription is usually starting and ending with slashes. These slashes actually help to differentiate the word and the pronunciation. So whenever you see the word with two slashes, it means the pronunciation of the word. Also, the words are sometimes separated with dots. This dots actually tells us how many parts of the sound does this word have. For example, the word dictionary. The dots actually separated the word into four parts. We have dig, sh, n, ri. So we know that there are four syllables in this word. In the dictionary, the words are also given the stress mark. The stress mark is actually the apostrophe here. This shows us that which part of the particular word needs to be read a little bit louder or a little bit higher tone. For example, the word dictionary, the stress is on the first syllable, which is the dig. So we need to say dictionary instead of dictionary. So we put on the stress on the first syllable, dictionary. In some cases, you will see brackets in the IPA transcription. It simply means optional. You can either pronounce the sound or ignore the sound. For example, the word S-H-I-R-T, you can pronounce it as shirt or with the er sound, shirt. Let's start with a pop quiz. In your opinion, how many IPA symbols are there? You must be thinking, hmm, there are 26 alphabets altogether. There must be 26 sounds. I'm sorry, that is not true. So, IPA symbols are divided into vowels and consonants. And we have 20 vowels altogether and also 24 consonants. And all this makes up 44 IPA symbols. Interesting, isn't it? And in terms of consonants, we have voiced and voiceless consonants. How do we differentiate between the voice and voiceless consonants? It's actually the vibration of the vocal cord. So we can actually try the sounds together. For the first one, let's try the book sound in B. Now, Mr. Pui wants you to put your hand on your vocal cord here and then make the sound B. B. Did you feel some kind of vibration 
in your vocal cord here? Yes. So that's a voice sound. So the sound B, as in B, is a voiced consonant. Let's try P, as in pan. Put your hand on your vocal cord here. Let's try P, P. Did you feel any vibration in your vocal cord? No. That's why it is a voiceless consonant. Now, Mr. Pui wants you to try Z, as in buzz. Put your hand here. Let's try. Z, Z. Did you feel vibration in your vocal cord here? Yes, that's a voice consonant. Very good. In contrast, let's try S, as in snake. Did you feel any vibration? No, that's a voiceless consonant. Let's try D, D as in dog. D, D. Did you feel vibration? Yes, so D as in dog is a voiced consonant. What about T, T, T as in tennis? There isn't any vibration, so it's a voiceless consonant. Now, Mr. Pui wants you to try these sounds. Can you tell me, are these sounds voice or voiceless? For the first one, k, as in king. K, k. And the second one, u, as in love. Uh, uh. Okay, and the third one is f, as in fish. Is k a voice or voiceless consonant? Correct. K is a voiceless consonant. And the second one, u, as in love, is a voice consonant. And for the next one, f, as in fish, it is actually a voiceless consonant. Good try. So, by knowing IPA symbols, we can know all the sounds that represent by this particular letter. For example, we have the letter C. And you can try to guess what these sounds are. For the first one, C as in cactus, cactus. So the first sound, C, is representing the sound of K, K as in cactus. Also, in the second picture, that's a cylinder. So now, the C is no longer a K sound, but a S sound. So when we know the IPA symbols, we know that we don't read this as cylinder, but we read this as cylinder. And for the third picture, this is ocean. Ocean. So the C here does not represent the K or the S sound, but now it's representing the SH sound, the SH sound. Ocean. Ocean. And let's try the last one. What do you think the C is representing here? Correct, that's CH sound. CH sound. Ch, as in church. So the C here is cello, cello. So it's no longer a K sound, 
a s sound or a sh sound, but it is representing the ch sound as in cello. And the second benefit for knowing IPA symbols is that we know all the silent letters. In English, there are several words that we don't pronounce some of the sounds. How do you pronounce this letter? This is H. H. If you see the IPA transcription, there is no h sound in H. So we don't pronounce H. We silent the h sound. It becomes H. When you or some other people money, you are in debt. In this particular word, we actually silent the b sound. So from the IPA transcription, there isn't a b inside there. It's a d, a, and a t sound. So this d e b t is pronounced as debt. And this part of the leg is called knee. We don't pronounce the k. In knee, because it is silent. In the IPA transcription, we cannot find the k sound, so we only pronounce the knee. All right, let's try. See if you can spot the silent letters. For the first one, it's called bomb. Can you tell me what is the silent letter here? The second one is our. Hour. Can you tell me what's the silent letter here? And for the last one, this is sword. Sword. So, what's the silent letter here? Alright, welcome back. So for the first picture, we have bomb. Yes, the silent sound is b. We don't pronounce the b at the end of the word, so it's actually read as bomb. And for the second picture, very good. The silent sound is the h sound. We don't say hour, but we say hour. The h sound is silent. And for the last picture, the silent sound is the w, the w sound. Instead of reading this as sword, we only read this as sword, sword. Good try. Congratulations! You have already mastered the basic skills of reading IPA symbols. So, for the upcoming videos, I'll be teaching you the different kinds of consonants and also vowels. If you would like to see me reading any of the English words that you are not sure of, please comment them down below, and I will compile them and read them in the upcoming videos. If you think this video is useful for you, please like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.